Hey guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly. And today this video is about Open Core Legacy Patcher version 2.1.1 and version 2.1.0 update. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And now let's begin. Today, OCLP version 2.1.1 is released. And a few days ago, OCLP version 2.1.0 was released. With the release of Open Core Legacy Patcher 2.1.0 and 2.1.1, this version will primarily focus on stability and bug fixes. However, this release does support settings retention in the GUI, allowing users to save settings between runs and updates. Moving forward and talking about the full change log of both builds, OCLP 2.1.1, resolve Boolean GUI settings, saving incorrectly as Python's none type. Talking about this OCLP 2.1.0 change log, disable feature unlocked by default, intended to maintain long-term stability. If features unlocked by feature unlock desired can be enabled in settings. Disable media analysis D on metal 3802 based GPUs, intended to maintain long-term stability. If live text support desired can be enabled in settings. Support for retaining GUI settings when building on model. When switching to a different model, model specific GUI settings will be reset. Note resetting saved settings not implemented yet. Delete users share.com Dortani at OpenCore Degas Patcher at Playlist and restart app to reset settings. Hopefully the issue is now fixed with the new OCLP version 2.1.1. Resolve macOS 15.1, 24B2083, Apple Silicon installer appearing as download option. Resolve WhatsApp crashing on 15.1. Increment binaries, patcher support PKG 1.8.4 release. So that was all about this OCLP version 2.1.0 update. If you use OCLP, you'll be notified that the update is available for OpenCore Legacy Patcher. To update to the current release of OCLP, click on Download and Install, and the new version will be downloaded and installed as well. When you get the success message, click on Yes. After the open core is built for your Mac, you'll be prompted with this option. Click on the Install to Disk option, and then from the list of disks, select the drive on which Mac OS is installed. And after that, click on the EFI partition and enter the password when prompted. When you get the success message, click on Yes from the menu. Click on the Start Root Patching option and proceed with all the prompts.
Once you get this message, click on the reboot option and then restart your Mac and you're done. and the Mac still boots up without any issues. Now let me also check whether the Mac OS update is being fetched or not. And here you can see, the Mac OS Sequoia 15.1 update is available for this unsupported Mac. So that was all about this OCLP version, version 2.1.1, and version 2.1.0 update. So that was it. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.